Kendall Salcedo was pretty much a nightmare as a customer. She scared me to death. I was assistant service manager at the time. She would bring the Jeep in and, and my goal was to get Kendall out of the service drive as soon as possible. That's how our relationship started. It was a matter of over about two and a half years of just friendship and working together. The more that we talked, we found common connection. You're in recovery and I'm in recovery. You're kidding me, it was a lot of that, you know? You too, me too. We were pretty much inseparable after that and we were married a year later. He is a total gift from God. And our marriage was not always perfect. We fought for our marriage and after about year four, we had really put all of that behind us and our marriage has been the most amazing blessing and gift in my life. I just can't even imagine my life without him. The morning we were laying in bed and I remember she just said, honey, what, what does that feel like to you? And the second I felt it, I'm always trying to, to remain calm in every situation, but my brain said, that's not good. And I'm like, well, that's kind of weird. I was sure it was some type of infection. We were able to get in a couple weeks later and I had a mammogram and an ultrasound and right there, the doctor just came right out and said, I think it's a malignant, you know, malignant cancer. And I'm like, you're gonna just say that <laughs> without a biopsy? He goes, I've seen this thing a million times. And I'm like, okay. I was able to get in for a biopsy two days later and indeed, you know, we got the phone call and he goes, yep. It was a malignant tumor. And until you're you know, faced with these situations, you don't know how you're gonna to react to it. But I just remember just looking her straight in the eye. It was just this eye contact that we had and it was just said, we're okay, no matter what. That's something I think that both of us kind of, it, it shocked us and we would tell each other as we kind of walked through this, we're not putting on a happy face. We really are sincerely at peace with this. Like, this can't be anything but, but Jesus, right? This can't be anything but God. We knew that no matter what the outcome, that Jesus had this situation. I always knew Kendall was a warrior, but through every chemo treatment, through every bit of news that we get, just watching her, being able to handle every bit of news that we have. I was diagnosed with stage one, which we're like, yay. And then they're like, okay, and so you're negative here, and you're negative here, and you're negative here. Progesterone and estrogen and hers, and I'm like, right on, we're negative. And they're like, yeah, no, that's not good. <laughs> I'm like, why? And they're like, well, because we don't know where it's coming from. It's not coming from a hormone. And so they said, it's one of the hardest cancers to treat, and it's pretty rare, about 15% of breast cancer is, is triple negative. The first time that I ever saw her even blink was when she got the news that she was gonna to have to do 16 rounds of chemo and 20 rounds of radiation. And that's the first time we were in the doctor's office and I saw a tear. The most difficult times have been when, you know, Kendall has her bad days, you know, when it's losing her hair. You know, I'll never forget that morning when she was in the shower and she's just in tears and the, the hair was just falling out. All I could do is try to be there for her. I can't say I understand. I just hold her and just say it's gonna be okay. People are like, oh, you're so strong. I'm like, nah, I'm strong in the Lord. The glory is God's. And when you ask the question, have you maintained your faith? A hundred percent, and one of the main reasons is we did pray for healing. But we also knew that that might not be God's plan. We just knew God was gonna work through us. He has been faithful. He's the promise keeper. My job is to do whatever it is that I'm called to do. You know, period. If she's walking this so strong through God, I mean, I just look at her and go, okay, I can do anything. We can do anything.